It was a few years ago that I got my first e-bike. And like everyone else out there, I was a resistor. I didn't really want to go down that road. But I ended up getting one, and I pulled the thing out of the box, and on the first ride, it was about 15 pedal strokes in, and I was like, this is it. This is what I do now. And from that point forward, it was, it was game on. I spent a week out here riding, and I've done everything from coastal forests to alpine ridge lines, rocky, steep descending chutes, and then went down in through the city, and even found some dirt jumps on the side. It's really impressive to be able to take one bike, set up the same way, and spend a week riding all kinds of different terrain. motors on these bikes are putting out so much torque that you have to learn how to control the bike in a way to unlock the full potential. My shifting has become ultra precise. My braking points are much more thought out and I'm spinning faster and each pedal stroke has even pressure throughout the full revolution. And all of these things have made me a much better rider. I'm more in tune with my bike than I've ever been. Levo I have, I have a big 700 watt hour battery and range anxiety is completely gone with that thing. My heart must get so heavy in your hands. I don't need you to let me down easy. I don't need you to swallow your pride. But I couldn't take it if you did it right now. So promise you won't leave me until I'm ready for you too. It's a common misconception that you're not getting a workout on these bikes. I actually feel like it's the complete opposite. You're getting a much better workout. You're spinning a lot faster, so there's less strain on your joints. You're still getting a workout, you're just getting there twice as fast. Specialized recently came out with this feature called Angie, and it's a little GPS crash detecting unit that goes on the back of your helmet. It pairs with the Mission Control app, and if anything bad happens and you crash, it will send a notification to all your emergency contacts with the GPS location.
lot of people are concerned that these bikes aren't allowed anywhere, but with a quick search on trail forks with the e-bike tab selected, you can see that some of the best trails in the state are completely open to these machines.